All right, all right. Welcome back, guys. We are doing another episode of Let's Play Lords of the Fallen. And uh, last episode, actually, oh, man, it was so frustrating. So we were like 10 minutes in, and suddenly my internet connection just crapped out on me and booted me, like, immediately. No warning at all. So I'm going to do my best to try to, like, stitch this one together with uh, the last one, but if I'm unable to do that, I'll walk us through exactly where we went. Really, it was mostly, it was 10 minutes of exploring a different part of this path up here. So what we're going to do is run through it real quickly. And most of the 10 minutes was me defeating every enemy that is in this path, and you're going to see it's a lot. Um, but this time, we're just gonna run through. So, we'll be able to do it in like, probably like two minutes. So, I'm gonna try to get some of my withered health back. Oh, oh shoot. Watch out for that. Run! Oh, that sucked. Alright. Run for it! All right, let's see, let's see. So we come up here, and there was a chest here we grabbed. I don't think it was anything that special. Like, it was a good item, but, you know. All right. Dive, dive, dive. Oh, my goodness. All right, all right. So we came out here. There's bad guys. A lot of dee da da All right. And we dropped down here, we cleared off all the bad guys there. And then we were running across here, and this is where uh, the recording stopped. So we'll go ahead and, ooh. All right, so basically, that's the whole thing. Oh wow, that guy just ran off. Haha, <laughs> sucka. Oh dang, they're coming for us. I kind of thought we'd be safe. And then we crossed here and picked up an item. And that was basically. What the heck? I'm trying to show people, man. I'm trying to show people. Alright, alright. You know what? Oh, I grabbed the wrong enemy. Dude, I suck. All right. So, long story short, I think we have like zero XP. I'm not even tripping about that. So basically, that whole route that I showed you leads to a dead end. So there's really, like, it was a dead end with an item. And I think it was like a book. I'll show you real quick. Um, the item that we picked up was, it, I think it was like a quest item. Maybe it was the Relic of per Perpetuation. Increase maximum health. Nah, we're good on that. I mean, after that, after we just got jumped, maybe we're not good on that. But anyway, maybe it was this Book of Sin. I, um... Hollowed Sentinel Scripture. Whatever it was, it was nothing game-changing for us yet, at least. So, I just wanted to show you all that. So, anyway. Um, here's this red butterfly thing that I've heard about. And we're about to see what the heck this is about. We're going to soul flay it. And it takes us to an enemy... Oh. Oh, dang. Come on. Oh, wow. So, I think my understanding of this is... Oh. We gotta be careful. Oh, 
come on. Oh shoot, oh shoot. No! Man, I just suck today, guys. I think that whole recording crapping out on me just threw off my mojo, man. All right. Yeah, so one thing that's a little different in this recording than um, the previous ones is I have a new sword on my dual wield that I'm actually going to put away for now. But it actually does bleed damage, which... I thought would help us a little more just now, but we're gonna we're gonna stick with the sword we know and love. We're gonna take care of this guy. Oh. Huh. Wrong button. There we go. That's what we're talking about. Woo. Charge it up. Kick this rule. Boom. That is how you handle this guy. Small delirium fragments. I feel like we didn't even have Vigor to pick up, but all right. So I showed y'all what way I went in that last recording for the 10 minutes I went that way at least. So now I'm just gonna run through because this is a way we've already traveled and we're gonna try to continue. Whoop. You know what, we might need to clear this for good measure. Away. Nice. Ooh. Risky business. Alright. Let's just do a little hop scotch. And a little boom. And we should have, yeah, one of these helmet guys here. Come on, throw him off, off the cliff, off the ledge, sir. Ha <laughs> All right, grab that XP. All right. Okie dokie. Yeah, so we've come down here and we got that, whatever it was, what was it called? Like something about the revelations or something? And this is the plank that we kicked down at one point. Yeah, we just want to keep it moving. I'm trying to... Really, my goal in this Let's Play is simply to find another uh, a vestige. All right. Oh, dang. Come on. Come on, punk. All right, so we went down there last time, and there was nothing but trouble down there for us. Yeah, 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 okay. So we'll go this way. Okie dokie. That's nice. So we have a little spawn zone here that I don't think we really need it at this point. Okay. Head on down this ladder. What the heck? Is that ladder only getting us down there in Umbral? I think that's what that was. Oh, wow. I gotta watch my surroundings better. get our withered health back. Crap! Yeah, let's go handle this fella. 
All right, so we picked up that bowl of remembrance here. Where do we go after that? I think. Yeah, let's get back upstairs. And I see something off in the distance over there. Yeah, it looks like there's some kind of environmental something to be done. Yeah. This map is not as simple as uh, I'd like it to be. But let me see. You know. Hey. Die. You know, I wonder if that is going to give us a way over there. You know what? Let's just keep it moving for now. But I have an idea that we'll try if we're not making forward progress after this point. Whoa. Oh, crap. Seriously? Dang it. And I guess that's why that vestige seedling is over there. Okay, okay. So. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Yeah, all right, so let's keep moving. Uh, see you later, guys. See you, bye. See you some other time. All right. We're going to be moving. Jump. Good, good. And, oh, shoot. Ran right into that one. Jump. And boom. Bye-bye. A little dual-wield action. Never hurt nobody. Okay. You know what? This was a ladder we kicked down last episode. Let's see what's up here. This is that courtyard that we did not like. Yeah, we're out of here. We don't want any problems with them. And we'll get rid of you, sir. See you later. <laughs> That's such a cool trick. Alright, so we can climb down here. It's that next one that's a little sketchy. Right. We're gonna walk across the plank. Come on, man. And charge it up. Okay, so let's just take a look around us here. Alright. So we are going to go down here because I thought I saw something to interact with in the Umbral Realm. Let's just throw them. Alright, let's heal up. Dang, these guys are messing me up. So I feel like... This had some kind of environmental thing. Oh my gosh, why do I suck? You know what, I'm gonna have to figure out what to do here. Hmm. So there's definitely some kind of environmental interaction to be had. Yeah. Let's see, let's see. Alright, so we go through here. Ooh. Huh. 
<laughs> oh my gosh, I freaking suck, dude. That's what we need. Boom, boom. Okay. Now, when we look down, seems like downs are only option. Okay. Slide it on down. Truth is, we need the Vestige Seedling here to save us a little bit of that running. You know what? We're going to try one more time without it, though. See how this goes. Okay, so down there is where that whole book of Revelation is. And then... That's a Hulk smash, dude. Alright, alright. We can just light this guy up. You know what? Let's freaking throw some stuff at this guy. We got some throwing knives now that inflict bleed. Oh yeah. How you like that? Get that blister, maybe charge us up. Nice. Now now we have the soul flay stuff. Gotta be very careful. Okay, now check this out. So, we grab that, and it eats up all of this. So where, the question is, where did it send all the whatever was going on? Seems like we would go down here, right? Seems like something here. So what is that? the heck is that? Dang, that dual build. Crowd control. What the heck? Did we just figure this out, finally? Are you freaking kidding me? That was it? Oh, wow totally worth this pain in the butt process. Totally worth it. Oh, shoot. Come on. Get out of here. Get out of my face. Alright. Freaking A, man. Let's just charge that up. Alright. 
get all the stuff we can get, man. Lord knows what's waiting for us here. About freaking time, man. I was really, really not happy with myself for uh, all the back and forth I was doing. Oh. Okay, okay. See, this would be more of a spot for that uh, temporary vestige seedling right here. Yeah. You know what? We're not going to do it. Not quite yet. Not quite yet. Damn, man. We're putting in work. Climb down, okay. Nice. Feel like I was stuck in that area for a while. Oh, see you later. I guess I'm on a lift. What if this lift takes us back to that vestige point? That would be nice. What if it takes me somewhere crazy? I freaking knew it. Are you kidding me? Look at that. Beautiful. Mind yourself, Lambert. You're on a trip. That's all you gotta say to me, man? Heck yeah, people. Let's go ahead and upgrade the character. Dang. All that effort. It was worth it. It was worth it. All right. Now the strength, or should we do an endurance? We'll do a strength. We'll do a point there. It'll be all right. We got our vitality up at 25. Nice, nice. A little bit of progression. Took a minute though. Dang. All right. Yeah. So I noticed I was using really. I think it was a staff for like half an episode. And it wasn't putting out great damage, but I realized I have this Crimson Rector Sword. It was something I picked up. Oh, I hear dogs. But it has uh, bleed damage. Oh, shoot. Come on, boy. -o. Dang, something sound vicious. Vicious. What we got? What do we got? We got a ladder. Not particularly interested in that at the moment, so let's just keep on looking this way. Climb down. Okay. What do we have here? Don't tell me it's stuck. The device seems stuck. No, it's totally working. Okay. All right, I see you. I see you. You know, we really should probably revisit that hub area sometime soon. I feel like we picked up some really key items. But uh, for now, we're going to press on. We're going to keep pressing on. Man, this game is hard, y'all. It's not easy. Okay, why do I feel like there's gonna be a boss down here? Or an NPC. I think this is the person from the jail that we talked so, to. You're starting to it see is. through their lies. I am. Crusaders, sentinels, corrupt hypocrites. Butchers mm. and madmen, a lot of them. Mm. A dear, the one true God stands on the verge of finally returning and restoring order to this broken world. And what do they do? Defy him. Fucking heretics. She's they missing a hand, and there's a hand around her, like a necklace. A purpose for you. Damaros. A deer might have a purpose for me. It takes strength to survive in this world. Damarose. no different. A deer's got no time 
for the weak, and neither should you. True, true. Down and take what they've got for yourself. Not a bad plan. Purchase. So what does she have to sell? Fist of Insights. It looks like a agility scaling item. Uh, raw Mangler Axe. We actually picked up one of those. Fire Grenade. That could be useful. Um, a Deer's Rage. A shout Sorcery, which allows you to summon the rage of a deer within yourself. So I started talking about this an episode or two ago, but there's three schools of magic. There's Rogar, there's Umbral, and then there's uh, Orion or Orias. So Orias is like the good light side of the force, a lot of healing kind of magic properties. Um, Rogar, which I think is this, I'm not sure, but it's more of a pyromancy, fire-based. And then the Umbral is just of the dead, kind of the dark arts. So, Charred Fingers. So this is used before performing the Crimson Ritual. Increases the reward. So I think this Charred Finger is like the Bloody Finger from Elden Ring. And it has to do with invading or multiplayer or something. So... I wonder if I should grab attack power 57 you know what let's buy it oh crap we don't have enough let's sell one of our many many uh, wooden crosses all right and we've got multiple arrow maces we got multiple bell staffs We got so many. It's probably because I've been revisiting areas because I'm trying to get better at the combat. I'm not as good as I need to be to play this game, especially recording it. So I'm <laughs> kind of doing my own training sessions between recordings, like especially to get that parry timing down. All right, so we will pick up this fire grenade because that's one of those throwables that we can continue to restock, and I'm super into that. So Intense let's talk. Strength to survive in this world, and Mornstead's no different. Adir's got no time for the weak, and neither should you. Mm-hmm. Cut them down, and take what they've got for yourself. All right, so Damaro's the market. Creepy. So she is an Adir-worshipping Mamma Jamma. All right. Um, so that looks like a potential boss fight, which I'm into, but we are approaching our 30 minute mark, so I think this is a perfect stopping point, and we'll pick back up literally exactly right here, and we'll see what this, uh, this character in there is all about. So, anyway, um, as usual, I'll be posting these this video along with the other Let's Plays to my YouTube channel. It's got the same handle as my Twitch. It's Space Doggy 777, and I always upload the videos either the same day or the following day um, after I stream it. So, uh, yeah, go check me out on YouTube. Leave a like, subscribe if you want to, and next time. We're kicking some butt, guys. No more being lost. We found the way. But uh, anyway, this is Space Doggy. Catch y'all later. Peace.